फर्स्ट जॉब इन सेल्स सेल्स में लोगों को कोई भी चल जाता है फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग आई डिट नॉट एन्जॉय द सेल्स जॉब एट ऑल एट ऑल आई कैन कन्विंस बट नॉट सेल सो दर इज यूज डिफरेंस देर वॉज नो अदर चॉइस फॉर मी सो दैट पॉइंट आई डिट नॉट नो वॉट टू डू slowly suddenly i also realized that data science is uh, what people refer to as and i knew that i'm good with calculation i'm good with mathematics i'm good at presenting and i'm good at understanding and analyzing things but again when i uh, used to approach people who were already in that role i always used to get no as an answer that you come from a non technical background a non programming background there is no chance that you will ever get through there is no company who would ever want to hire you it was a good experience i learned quite a few things and then i started applying for jobs and after which you know after facing around 20 30 rejections my cv never got shortlisted and one day out of curiosity i happened to call in hr and ask her i mean why is my cv not even shortlisted she was kind enough to reply okay normally hrs will not reply but she was kind enough to reply she said that Well, first of all, uh, you're learning. That's fine, but the institute that you're learning from has no credibility, and whatever they've taught to you also has no credibility. So I realized that there are a lot of things, a lot of pieces that were missing, and then I realized that uh, just going to classes and inquiring was not going to help me because you will have good counselors, good counselors who can talk, who can convince. You know the sales part which I was talking about earlier. There are people who are too good at it. Something that I could not do, but I can make out. Yes, they are doing a good job. And the reality check only comes once you go on the field. And there are people who are either in the industry or someone who uh, wants to be a part of that. So I knew I will meet like-minded people, and that's how I ended up uh, going to data gary sessions. And through that, I came to know about Gray Atom. this time i wanted to be absolutely sure that i was getting into the right place so i guess all this 12 and a half 13 years of non technical experience or i would say non data science experience is still helping me today and of course the transition was not easy but it was a fruitful one so i guess i would like to thank uh, gray atom and specifically mayurish and shweta for uh, building that confidence in me and giving me that hope that yes you can do it you just have to believe yourself so rebuilding that belief in myself gray adam started rolling out uh, job offers and i used to apply for every job offer i used to go for every interview and i did not get through in the first time which i knew was going to happen i was mentally prepared for it but i never missed a chance any opportunity that came across i applied for it i gave an interview and then ultimately there was a point after a few series of interviews i can't count them because honestly i don't remember how many i applied for and every time i got a no every time someone threw a brick on my head i bounced back harder and then ultimately there was a day when i had three offers in my hand and again i went back to gray adam i spoke to shweta and mayurish this is the situation you tell me where should i go and they guided me there that yes this is the company you should be joining because the kind of mentors that you will work with is going to be very important and i'm glad that the kind of mentors i found in gray atom i have same uh, kind of mentor in my organization who's guiding me and making me a data scientist